Ninja News Now! It's time to issue a correction. Yesterday, we reported that in one swift move, Ubisoft pulled life support for 90 titles. As it turns out, many of these affected games had their services terminated at various points over the last year. It's just that Ubisoft announced that the games had been terminated in a blog post, where it was inferred that it was a sudden thing. That said, the majority of the original story is still relevant, and it still goes to show that the digital-only future you've been implied time and time again would be a timeless, forever functioning existence has ceased. Just not in mere seconds. The point still stands. Why are you buying Ubisoft games? If the affected games featured online multiplayer, they will not function online. It doesn't matter if it happened yesterday or three years ago, it's the same. If the game has online-only achievements or trophies, the ability to legitimately earn these has been disabled. Any statistics, leaderboards, or in-game news for any of the affected games has been disabled. The Ubisoft Connect service has been disabled for the affected games. Any unlockable content that functioned through Ubisoft Connect cannot be unlocked either. PC players of these games, even if they've previously unlocked these extra pieces of Ubisoft content, are locked out of the things they've earned. Console players, if you reset your save file, you're going to lose the things you've earned. Still, we at Vigi News Now would like to issue an apology. Our news suppliers, The Verge and Polygon, provided us with subpar information as per usual. Apologies. Ubisoft didn't creep in like Greg the Grim Reaper and execute a whole bunch of games at once. It's been doing it quietly in the background. And one day soon, your favorite game may also get scythed. Death has a thousand faces. And one of them is Eve's Guillemot. This is Echo from Vigi News Now, the only name in gaming news that you can trust. Vigi News Now!